Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna learn how we can create a morph target for a piece of clothing that uh, uh, will match a different body type, a different metahuman body type. We will work in this video with metahumans. So what uh, we're gonna do first of all is to open our uh, clothing uh, skeletal mesh. In our case it's gonna be hoodie which is for uh, M, a uh, male, tall, normal weight. So this is a, a hoodie uh, that uh, is designed for uh, tall, normal weight males, metahumans. And we want to port this to match the short, overweight male metahuman. In order to do this, we have to go to tools, select a reference skeletal mesh, and we have to select our short, overweight mesh right our uh, our mesh that we will work uh, so we can match uh, the hoodie on it right so uh, now we have to select the material this is not uh, something you have to do but it's easier to see uh, where uh, where exactly we fit uh, the the clothing right so i'm gonna select the material I think this is fine now we can see uh, the material as well on our uh, reference skeletal mesh but what we can see is that our uh, our hoodie is totally misaligned it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't uh, really uh, make it easy to to sculpt and bring it down uh, to match this uh, uh, this uh, overweight uh, short version right so what we have to do is deselect disable master pose and now as you, uh, you can see our our uh, short overweight skeletal mesh is uh, matched to the hoodie right but we want to invert this we want our hoodie to be matched to the overweight uh, a short version right so we have to select invert master pose this is what we will uh, work with right now right so we will create a new morph target sorry if uh, i made it uh, hard to understand what uh, i'm trying to achieve here but english is not my first language i'm trying my best so be patient right so i'm going to create a new morph target name short overweight right just so we can easily identify this uh, morph target gets created on our hoodie and we have to select now a tool uh, in my case i want to make it simple i don't want to get too much into details i just want to make it so it matches uh it matches the the body type right so let's start sculpting i'm just gonna sculpt sculpt so I will match everywhere the the hoodie, so it will uh, wrap basically uh, the mesh. Here you the uh, in this area, I think you should uh, pay a little bit more attention. I'm not gonna spend too much time right now, but you get the gist. And now we just we just bring everything out okay now that uh, our uh, morph target uh, it's uh, wrapped uh, around the body we can even uh, uh, smooth a little bit i believe so let's smooth just a little bit around this area probably something like this just the more you spend time with it the more uh, uh, the better it looks right so it's up to you how much time you want to uh, invest in this and now we can uh, go ahead and uh, save it let me I just saw something here this is it okay so now I'm gonna save it And I'm gonna go to Ettore 
blueprint, right? In the Tore blueprint, I have this short overweight body. And now uh, I have uh, the hoodie as well selected. And now we have to enable the, the morph target. So it will be uh, the overweight version, right? So we're going to event graph, create a new custom event, enable overweight, right? We're gonna bring torso, set morph target. Okay. I think the name was short overweight and value one. We want to enable this morph target by doing this, right? Uh, we go uh, to construction script now and then we have to call our newly created event, right? Okay, and enable overweight. Now, if we go to viewport, we will see that our uh, our uh, tall version for a tall normal version of the hoodie is matching the the short overweight version, right? So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope uh, you find it helpful. If you do, uh, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you around. Bye.